All right. So yeah, we're shaving live. Crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's a chillier morning here in NYC. And I gotta do some um, washing of the face. I have to wash my face. I have to um, change the blade in my safety razor, which I love to do. up and just give you the optimal is that better doesn't matter um, okay. first thing I want to do is change the blade in the safety razor so I just unscrew it I've done this so many times it's crazy um, unscrew it take the handle off separate the pieces. There's the blade. I'm going to take that out. I'm getting rid of that. Dull. I use it for about a week. And then we install another one. Now, and I say this ad nauseum over and over again because it's true, but do not throw these in the trash. It's a safety issue. Um, Good morning to you in Calgary. I can actually read, some days I can see small text without my reading glasses. I see someone named, I think Amy said, hi, George. I can vaguely make it out. Um, don't throw these in the trash. These go in a can, like a discarded coffee can or something like that. Yeah, because it's a safety issue. You're gonna cut some, the people who handle the trash, they're very sharp. So I'm taking a fresh blade out of the wax paper and we're going to put it on the head of the razor. Now I've got a fresh blade for the week. How exciting. Screw it on nice and tight. Good morning. Happy to catch this live. Happy to do it live. Listen. Um, all right. So, all right. Ready to party. I'm going to discard my old blade. I've got this old Folgers can. It's full of blades. And that's where that goes. Anyway, all right, trash can for the wrapper. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're gonna wash the face. Because the blade likes, um, thanks for showing your support here on the YouTube. I appreciate that. The blade likes clean, warm skin. Um, hot water is really good. Uh, all right, sorry I gotta disappear, so I will talk through this. Um, thanks for uh, the tip. It's nice when people show their support keep the content alive. Um, try to save water. I use Dr. Bronner soap because it's got oils in it, so it doesn't really like dry you out. I mean, all soap dries you out, it's detergent, but the soap that's got some oils in it is good. Ugh. All right, clean, clean, clean. Clean is the name of the game. <clears throat> and I wash my face in water that is as hot as I can tolerate. Um, yeah. And the water that comes to the pipe here <clears throat> is kind of soft water, so it takes a while to rinse off any soap. But, there it is. Alright, so we're 
pretty well rinsed. Um, all right. And for those just joining and commenting, forgive me. I mean, I have, because I don't have my readers on, and I have a very hard time reading comments. Sending hugs from somewhere. I can't read it. Thank you so much. It's so nice of you. I really appreciate it. Um, all right. Now, the fun part, the part I love. Well, I love all of this, actually. I love shaving. And any guy, like, all right. Guys get this, you know? You come into the bathroom, I got a shaving cup from my friends at CO Bigelow. See this? Isn't that nice? And you put it around your fingers and you can put the cream in there and whip it up. That's what I'm about to do. Uh, the shave cream, speaking of C.O. Bigelow, is from C.O. Bigelow. Pardon me as I belch. Rude. Coffee. Um, this is from Prorasso. It's an Italian cream company. I love their stuff. Fabulous. Very concentrated. It's a metal tube. And I use this thing, the key, to kind of wind it down so you can make sure that you use all of it. None of it goes to waste by the time you get to the end of the tube. Um, so I literally, this is as much as I put in. Like, nee. God, that's even too much. Like that. You really don't need much. That's more than enough. I would say the, a dollop that's about the size of a quarter, because this stuff whips in. Wow, thanks for the tip. You guys are fantastic, I appreciate this. Um, then I'll do it more often. Um, all right, so the cream is in there. Here is my synthetic brush, not boar's hair. No animals were harmed here. This is a synthetic brush from C.O. Bigelow. Is, can you see it? They're very good to me, my friends at C.O. Bigelow. It's a New York family pharmacy down in Greenwich Village on 6th Avenue. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. So, shave cup, shave cream. I'm going to slightly moisten this. You don't want the brush too wet. Slightly moisten it. It's all about heat, and I'm just going to whip it up. Literally, that's all I'm doing. You see this in movies all the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I quit smoking last year and I have some phlegm issues. All right, so I'm going to re, re moisten my face. This stuff smells really good too. I don't know if it's like it, there's a there's a eucalypt you, there's some kind of eucalyptus thing happening here. Very soothing. It's so good. I just love Pro Rasso cream so much. Just keep whipping it. It's very concentrated, like I said, you'd only really need like a quarter. I put too much in here. It's more than enough. And when you really take the time, take a moment to just like whip it up like this, it gets so, you know, it puts any can, cream, or foam to shame. This is what foam cream out of a can that I grew up with, aerosol, this is what it's, that, this is what that's designed to duplicate. It never really does it. This is the way to do it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we rinse that out. And the other reason I like, aside from the fact that no animals get harmed in it, the other reason I like the synthetic shaving brush is that it's not porous, so it rinses very clean quickly. It's easier to keep it clean. Ow, hot water. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm all creamed up. 
ready to party with my razor. Clean tools are happy tools. All right. And now I will fill up my sink and heat up my razor with hot water. Thank you guys for the comments and the tips. I'm trying to read a little bit there. It's hard to see. All right, so we shave. We start with a clean, hot blade. I love this so much. I used to do this on Twitter. Not anymore. Oh, I mean the hair just glides off the blade. The heat is a factor. And the blade is a fresh, clean blade. And the water is hot. It does make a difference. I was getting my hair cut, this is a few haircuts ago, this summer. And I was sitting in the barber shop And there's this guy, two chairs down from me, and he was bald, like shaved bald, like bald on top and then like thinning. So it, you know, he didn't get, his way of treating it was shaving the head, which is what I would do. If I were balding, I would go shaved head. I would go full Mark Strong, Jason Statham, like that's what I would do. So, uh, he was having a head shave, like a hot towel, like a hot shave, a head shave and a face shave. And he was still getting worked on. By the time I started my haircut and was finished, he was still getting worked on. But I was riveted watching him in the mirror and watching the barber work on with the, with the, safe, with the straight razor, rather. Um, this is a safety razor. Barber uses the straight cutthroat razor, like, you know, the Skyfall money penny razor, right? And uh, I was fascinated. I've never had that done. My hair right here grows in this like cyclone pattern. <laughs> it's very strange. We all have that. There are places like around our head where it does that. Yeah. I love that sound. I was with my cousin out in LA. She has a teenage son. And I had not seen her house, right? So I'm like at her house and she's giving me the tour. And she shows me her son's room. It's like such a teenage boy's room. I mean, it's like super cool and like everything you'd ever want to have as a teenager, right? And he has his own bathroom. And I noticed on his sink, he's a teenager, so he's like 16. I noticed on his sink, he had a safety razor. I was like, how does he know about safety razors? He's 16. This is so old timey. It's like such a grandpa razor, right? I don't know how he got into it, but he loves it. I was so impressed. I was like, oh, good. Cause. Um, among the many benefits of a safety razor, it does save money too. No plastic, it's a single blade, but no plastic. It's very uh, uh, environmentally sound as well. 
Oh, somebody wants to go outside. All right, Smokey's getting ready. All right, buddy, we're almost ready. Oh, this feels so good. All right. How are the sideburns, by the way? Can you hear that? My grandfather had a safety razor and an electric one, like an old Norelco. Electric razors used to have such a cool design. I don't like the way they're designed though. I loved the old, like look at a Braun or an old Norelco from like the 70s. Ah, oh, they were so cool. They're too involved now. Guys watching, you know how satisfying this is. The only time I don't like shaving is when I'm rushed. Because I like to enjoy it, right? The best way to shave. Smokey, we're going. All right, buddy, relax. Give me a minute. Uh, the best way to shave, in my humble opinion, Get some music going. Or get your, you know, your, your sports radio, your NPR, whatever your thing. Yeah, that's how you do it. This is like, this is spa time for a guy. This is very sort of like meditative. carefully around the lip. Mm. Oh, God, it feels good. I, have a, I had a cold sore there a couple weeks ago. Very gently around the nostrils, All right? All right. I nicked myself there, fabulous. And now, because I had a zit there, great. It happened. Also, a general note to the youngins. Don't press hard. You just brush the skin gently with the blade. You don't press hard. Especially if you have sensitive skin like I do. I go against the grain just because I do, because it's satisfying. Um, but gently, I do not press hard at all. Uh-uh. Oh, great. That chin is always tricky. Okay, look at that. We are looking good, kids. A little finalizing the cleanup, make sure the sideburns are even. I don't like my sideburns too long either. I like them short. I like to have them, but I like them short. Oh God, look at that. Also, fun fact, <clears throat> beards make us look older. So if you want to give yourself a mini facelift or a little mini like sort of 
youthification, not even a word, thank you, George. Um, have a shave, makes you look younger. Okay, that's it. All right, I'm gonna do a cold water rinse. Drain the sink. Um, cold water rinse, cold water tightens the pores. Also, this feels really good. Uh, yes, daddy. Oh, and that's it for this Monday morning shave. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.